And I shall wait a little bit before opening it back up, you know, because he really needs that rest. Okay, rest over. <laughs> hey, alright, Nico? Power nap. Trust me. Oh. This is Nico's mama. Aww. Nico's so adorable. TK? I had another dream. Mama was there. Did you see her? Yeah. She made me pancakes. I think it was my birthday. Because people always get their favorite food on their birthday. Mm, not always, but they do get something special. A whole lot of it. Do you have a birthday too? Yes or no? Hang on. <laughs> Why would anyone pick no? Birthdays when you were born? Uh, I mean, even robots would technically have birthdays. <laughs> I'm so tempted to click no, but come on. Oh, then what's your favorite food? Is it pancakes? Wait, do you like pancakes? See, I do like pancakes. I just don't, I rarely have them. So yeah, they are kind of special to me in a way too. Me too. On my last birthday, I ate 10 of them. I was so full, I didn't eat anything else after that, uh, that day. My mama makes the best pancakes. And some of the neighbors make really good noodles. And oh, uh, one of our neighbors makes a lot of bread. Do you have any neighbors? Uh, yeah, a few. Oh, do they share food with you? No. <laughs> That's not very nice of them. Oh, it's more like we just don't really communicate with each other, especially at this time. Oh, with the with the uh, pandemic, far out. We have to stay indoors, Nico. It's chaotic out here. Oh no no! Oh, someone's trying to discord me. Can't you see him playing one shot? Anyways, where were we? Uh, yes, uh, yeah, so, uh, especially now, I'm staying indoors thanks to the whole pandemic outrage, so it's chaos out here. And on that note, I hope you guys are staying safe, staying healthy out there. Um, don't worry, this is only temporary. Until then, let's gather around, have a jolly good time watching some YouTube, playing some games, and listening to Nico. There we go. It's not very nice of them. Our neighbors and my mama takes turns making food for the whole village every day. Everyone also takes turns doing chores and watching the little kids. I don't need to be watched anymore though. I'm old enough to help out. How old is Nico? 18? 16? 14? Hmm. I miss everyone. I've been gone for a while now, haven't I? I wonder if they're worried about me. Ah, uh, speaking of helping out, we should probably go now. How gone you? Uh, how long is Nico actually gone in game? Like outside of game, this has been like a whole month. Hmm. Oh hey, welcome back. That sure took you a while, huh? Oh shoot, you've been waiting this whole time. And holding the door open? Well, I, uh, didn't want to be rude. I'm sorry. I should have told you to go on ahead. Eh, don't worry about it. <laughs> he, was, he was holding the door open the entire time. Far right. Ellipses, ellipses, ellipses. Dot, 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 dot. Ellipses, ellipses, ellipses. Dot, 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 dot. Sure is taking a while. Mm hmm. Oh, goodness gracious, I'm stuck at an elevator with a messiah and also literally God himself. This is awkward. Oh, maybe we can chat to pass the time then? 
You hurt me? I mean, sure. Alright, TK, should I... Hmm... <laughs> I can resume awkward silence. Uh, let's ask about his job. So, what do you do at your job? You seem really busy. I, uh... I fix lights, mostly. But now I also deliver and refill high-energy phosphor to structures that need them. High energy? You know, the super concentrated glowy stuff they had to process in factories, it's what powers most of the city stuff. Oh. We used to have a small army of delivery robots doing that, but lately a bunch of them have been breaking down? So until they fix them, I'll just have more work on my plate. I haven't slept in so long. Are you paid more at least? When will the robots get fixed? I have no idea. It's all up to the scientists over at the labs. But they seem really concerned about something else lately. No? Never a good sign when even the smart folk the smart folks are worried. Alright, GK, should I ask about this city? This city is very big. It's smaller than it looks. Getting pretty crowded too. First there were there were the refugees from the barons. Now more Glen folks are moving in too. Although it's just safer here, you know? I mean it's not a haven by any means. That square stuff that we just saw? We get more of that here than anywhere else apparently. I noticed. Well, Lockheed only seems to affect the city's infrastructure. The landmass itself is still holding up. Which is good, since there isn't much solid land here in the first place. Alright, TK, should I... Ask about the library. Can you tell me about the library? I'm supposed to go there. Oh well, yeah, it's one of my delivery spots. Those reading lights are pretty high maintenance. But I always feel out of place surrounded by smart people. Well, I guess you're pretty smart yourself, so you'll fit in fine. You and TK. And we're here. Ah, oh, music's slower. Anyway, it was nice meeting you, uh... Nico. Right, see you around, kid. Gotta run now. Wow, he runs really fast. He seems in a hurry. I think we should hurry too, TK. People are counting on us. Let's go find that library. Robot. Beep boop. Beep boop. <laughs> oh, here we go. A normal head person. <sighs> You're right. Ah, the Messiah. Perhaps this is a sign. Tell me, do you think you can fix the world with the sun? Yes! I have optimism. I have full belief that we can. Honestly, I don't know. I've been getting mixed messages. I know. What do you think? I think... I think I should listen to TK. After all, TK helped me get this far. I will take your faith for an answer then. What do you mean by that? It means whatever you think it means. Ooh, cryptic. Ooh, okay, you be cryptic, dude. Alright. Uh, but like, hmm... Is my optimism fully misplaced though? Like, there's bound to be some sort of caveat or catch. I don't know what it is. Or, or maybe, maybe I'm just looking too much into it. Nah, you know what? I will full speed ahead. We will save this world. No doubts about it, because if I have doubts, then this world may not be saved. Oh, the music stopped. Uh. Oh, whoa, 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 okay. Whoa, what was that? TK, did you see what happened? Yeah, it freaked me out a little bit. My vision went blank for a second. And then I saw something, like a really short dream. I wonder what that was about. 
man, this is some spooky music, let me tell you that. Something tells me we're not supposed to be here. It's a faded flyer. It's a faded flyer. A bag full of trash. Gross! Hey, man! One man's trash is another man's treasure. You never know what goodies you can find in there. A curious marking on the wall. It looks like a, a ram. Looks like a, a hidden door as well. Okay, maybe shine the light bulb on it. That looks like a door, but I want to go in. I guess I can at this point. It's strangely warm in this room. Oh, look at that, Nico! Actual cat! You'll fit in just fine. Oh, a cat. <laughs> See, even the robot acknowledges it. Are you lost? Me? Do you wish to join us? Join your cats? Yes. But I'm not a cat. I don't walk on four legs like they do. You have cat eyes. My eyes are normal people eyes. Well, normal back home. Your hat is shaped like a cat. But I'm just a person. You are still welcome here. I protect lost people as well. Thanks, but I'm not lost though. I got TK to guide me. I see. Hmm. Purring. Meowing. Hmm. She... I don't know if I'm more of a cat person or a dog person, because I, I like both. Let me... let me know what you guys are uh, more of. Maybe you might not like either, and you probably like uh, turtles, birds, snakes, tarantulas. I also like tarantulas. Surprisingly. Oh gosh. Squares got him. Hmm. What? Whoa. Whoa. TK, did you see that fox just now? It just ran behind the tree. I'm sorry if you're looking for me. But I cannot talk to you. Not now. Um... But can you promise me something? Huh? If you can find a way to return, please do. Uh, what do you mean by that? No reply. Wow, amidst all the city buildings, there's just one lone tree here. And a fox. One very suspicious fox. No one here! Just disappeared like that! Oof, that was, that sure was interesting. What do I make out of that? I feel as if they will play a very important role later on. Oh? A jar of red glowing fluid. Red phosphor, most likely. There's some big plastic discs in here. Looks like they're supposed to go in something? Wait, TK, are we gonna really take these with us? But they look so heavy. Alright. Hey, actually, they're pretty light. Well, one thing you gotta know about RPG logic is that as long as you have an inventory, you can carry just about anything. Unless you're playing Divinity Original Sin, where weight is calculated. But even then, 
carrying like a bunch of paintings and you're fine. A framed photo of someone. A, lan a lantern plant. There's a note attached. It says, thank you for working so hard, Mr. Lamplighter. Lamplighter. Hmm. It's a big book. The title says, Understanding Robots. Some empty glass jars. A bed. The blankets have quite a few patches. Empty coffee cups. There's an empty coffee cup on the chair. Some empty glass jars. Okay. Anything else in here? It's empty now. Oh! Oh! Okay. Hmm. We have a bunch of lens. Oh, and we're out here. Okay, we got coffee mug head now. Hey, kid. Want some soup dumpling? <laughs> soup? What did I just say? Want some soup dumplings? They're guaranteed to contain only a minimal amount of industrial byproducts. Now pass. Why, Nico? Minimal? Did you hear him? You can't get this uh, anywhere else. What if you go hungry? Oh, hey there. You uh doing okay? Yep. What are you doing? Just filling this lamp here. It's taken a while. I think it might be leaking. Sorry, dude. I think we took some of your lens. Not I think, I know. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll put them to good use for the betterment of this world. This smells kind of nice. What is it? Breaded fish. I toasted the bread myself. I see. Aha, he's got a toaster head. Wait, hang on. Toaster head? Does that mean the toaster works? And so you can insert bread into his head? And then, oh, what, oh wow. Hmm. wonder how that works. <laughs> What's this? Are you here for your photos? No? Alrighty then. I'll just uh, stand here. Photos? Hmm. There's a slot here. Looks like paper or something might come out from it. Oh, is this where the lens go? Do I... I think... Uh, do I need it? Mm. Okay... I don't know. Just, I'm just gonna put all the lens in. I guess that wasn't the right combination, TK. Uh, I think I'm gonna come back to this. I don't think I'm supposed to do this yet, because I don't have any instructions. Oh, finally, a normal head. This stand smells a bit like burnt sugar. Yep, still getting the hang of making these fried candy skewers. They don't taste too bad, though. Do you want one? It's okay. Thank you. Oh, what is that? Is that water bottle head? Hey, hey! Ready for me to blow your mind? Sure thing. Okay, so, I've invented a medicine to prepare everyone for the upcoming water shortage. All you gotta do is dissolve one of these pills in water. And then you drink the water. And then you never need to drink water again. What? It also makes plants grow faster. How, how does it work? Yeah, why don't you take a free sample? Oh, thanks? Don't thank me. Go spread the word. I got a water pill! Goes in water, supposedly. The only other water container that I could find was the one in the apartments, but the, I couldn't pick it up. Hmm, I guess I'm missing an item.
Oh, is this like the tower? There's a giant X here. Oh. Hmm. I think the X means I'm not supposed to be here yet, so... Hmm, that's some nice music. I can unlock this door. Hmm? Now where are we? Well, what's here? Hello, person! The library is just up ahead. Thanks! Oh, there is a person outside here. When the world ends, would it be better if it was gone in an instant or slowly fading away? To be honest, I'd rather the former. Man, everyone's being pessimistic and stuff. Realistically, I think I'd be pretty pessimistic too. But have hope, for the Messiah is here. Hmm, there seems to be this... Almost like a biblical dynamic between the Messiah and I, the supposed God. Hmm. What? Uh, oh, I didn't say anything. Well, stop staring at me then. I was just looking at your book. Yes, you're in a library. There's books in the library. Um, go bug the chatty one upstairs. Hey man, alright? All I did was just walk up to you and try to interact. Far out, such, such a moody person. Hello, do you need directions? Let's see, this area is mostly historical accounts. The ref re reference section is downstairs in the... I'm not sure where the children's section is, sorry. That's okay, I'm not really looking for books. No, are you here to look for the author then? In caps, huh? No? Oh, that's good. Uh, I mean, that means you won't be disappointed. I've been volunteering here for months and I've never seen him. Not even once. He walks, he, he works together with the head librarian in publishing, so you'd think he would at least show up once in a while. But he doesn't? Yeah, he seems kinda reclusive. Which is weird for a guy who supposedly travels the world. Maybe he's just around people. So like, like an introvert. How's your book? Please don't yell at me. The author's books cover a wide range of topics. It seems there are no subjects that he does not write about. Quite the renaissance man, don't you think? I guess so. He's been focusing on documenting the world as of late. No? They say this city is the last bastion of civilization. Soon these books may be the only thing we have to remember the rest of the world by. Ah. That's depressing. Books are neatly placed on the shelf. Oh yeah, that's the way it came. Anything done? Oh, more robots! Yep, still scared of ladders. Hello, person! Hi! Reshelving in progress. Please watch out for potential falling books. I will. Nico, I know you're scared of ladders, but that ladder isn't really high. Uh, but, you know, I think it'd be high enough to cause some fall damage. On computer, it's currently off. Hmm, is this like a, a bar, cafe? Ah, oh, we have Glasses Head now. The author is so cool. I heard he can travel all over the world with a flying machine. 
That's how he gathers material for his books. Wow. What are you doing to that book? Don't worry, these are my own books that I wrote. I just pull them off the shelves to modify them. I have to cross out some sections. Most sections. Eh, how come? Because otherwise they think I copied him. Him? The author! I mean, I really don't see the point of writing anything anymore. The author's just gonna write about the same thing and then everyone will love it. And no one's gonna remember the books that came out before his. Oh, uh, I mean, I, I ain't hating. I'm just salty. <laughs> I can see why people go nuts over his stuff. That guy's got a major talent. But it just hurts, you know? It's never fun when people call you a copycat for something you wrote about first. I, I can relate. Sometimes that happens to me. Uh, not on YouTube, but in other things. I can see that. People call me a cat all the time. No, copycat, Nico. It's different. Even though I'm a person and cats are pets. And Mausers. I sure hope people don't think I eat mice. <laughs> then I guess we're in the same book, kiddo. Ah, don't worry. I think there's someone out there that appreciates your books. So, what do you think about the author? I don't know. Have you read his stuff yet? If not, you should. A big book with a black clover on the cover. The title says A Comprehensive Guide to Phosphors. As a general rule, if a phosphor loses its glow entirely, it cannot be relit unless exposed to the sun. If the phosphor is merely dim, it may be possible to boost it through exposure to another phosphor of high energy. But even so, the boosted phosphor will never return to its original brightness. Blue Phosphor. Location, the Barrens. Out of the common phosphor, blue phosphor is of moderate levels of energy. It can exist in both organic and mineral forms. The mineral form is most commonly found in the metallic sand of the Barrens. The organic form is most commonly found in the phosphor shrimp and their secretions. Although the light emission of blue phosphor is powerful, it has what I would describe as self-conserving properties. That is to say, the glow may not be constant. Most forms of blue phosphor will stop glowing if left undisturbed for long periods of time. If, blue if using blue phosphor to power machines, a motor should be set at a base level activity to ensure constant agitation of the phosphor. Alternatively, Live phosphor shrimp can be used. Green phosphor, location the glen. Out of the three common phosphors, green phosphor is of the highest energy. It, uh, it is also the rarest of the common phosphor as it can only be found in organic form. Known sources include the sap of phosphor trees, fireflies, and uh, various mosses. Although this phosphor is present in the... Oh gosh, I haven't encountered that word before. Ubiquitous of forest. Grand covering moss in the glen. It is only in minute amounts and almost impossible to trace. Green phosphor is ideal for industrial use, however, due to its relative sake scarcity and past over harvesting but there's currently no reliable source thankfully at least lo at least locals of the glen still have enough to get by Oof, a lot of reading red phosphor out of all the common phosphor red phosphor is of the lowest energy it exists exclusively in mineral form and can only give light when in solution the dilute red phosphor abundant in the city's water and channels can be concentrated and induced with currents this can create an artificial high energy state with greater luminosity one major caveat is that the phosphor in the supersaturated solution will precipitate out rather quickly. As soon as the phosphor recrystallizes, recrystallizes, it loses its low permanently. If using supersaturated red phosphor as a power source, make sure there are other facilities or services that can replace its frequency. I don't know if you guys like it if I read out everything, but I did it <laughs> with these three books. Three books, I mean three pages. A big book with a black clover on the cover. The title says Emergence of New Archaeological Niches in a Post-Sun World. Phosphor Shrimp. Known as seed shrimp in certain vernaculars due to the shape of their transparent coat. These aquatic invertebrates are the most abundant life form in the oceans surrounding the barrens. Common firefly. Nocturnal beetle with a vibrant glow. Sometimes captured en masse and put in jars used to be used as living lamps by the Glen's residents. This has inspired the now common practice of using phosphor shrimps to do the same. Okay, that was a bit shorter. The author publishes books at a highly accelerated, almost inhumane pace. In fact, he has put out more books in one year than most authors do in a lifetime. 
According to the head librarian, there is still a large amount of material he has written, but not yet published. One can I ha wonder where he can get so much done in so little time. I did the calculations and the numbers simply do not add up. Maybe he can stop time? No such mecha mechanisms work in this world. Is that actually possible in your home dimension? Actually, do you know what? If I close the game, time stops. Well, so I assume. So maybe the author is not of your world, good sir. That is my proposition. Uh, I just saw it in a movie once about superheroes and stuff. Ah, we got TV Head Jr. over there. I can't get to him now! Why are you just locked off? Oh, wait, never mind. You're going through these pages pretty fast. Actually, it's just mostly pictures. Oh? Yeah, the author doesn't only write books, he also illustrates them. Sometimes he makes books out of only pictures. Neat. Dun, dun. I, I like this library music. The computer, it's currently off. Placed books are neatly on the shelf. I'm on my third cup. I can't feel my limbs. Um, but I have to stay awake. I need to find how this book ends. Um, curse the author and his beautiful cliffhangers. <laughs> Third cup of coffee. What are you, an amateur? Go speak to Godo and talk back to me. Excuse me. Oh, you're the Messiah. Welcome. When I first entered the city, a big robot told me to look for a library on the surface. This is the same library, right? Affirmative. Oh, goody. Well, we're here. What do we do now? The big robot said... I only said there'd be clues here. That is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. Oof, are we really doing this? I need to save the world here. She's not picking up. <laughs> is she not here? She is here. She's in the archival room upstairs. When she is concentrating on her work, she will ignore any and all phone calls. For several days. Yikes! Can you go get her in person then? Leaving this post is not in my programming. Then can I go myself? Of course. The York cattle room is accessible through the stairwell behind me. Gotcha. Thanks. Alrighty. Hang on. Let me see if there's anything here. More coffee. Almost empty. I wonder why. This guy has just been eating it all. Eating? Coffee? Man. This guy's just been drinking it all. Author, uh, unauthorized entry. Library card required for further access. Wait, what? Library card required for further access. I don't have a library card though. Where can I get one? This is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. Oh, not this again. This world's gonna end, and it's gonna be this robot's fault. <laughs> She's not picking up. Oh, I figured! Are, are you sure you can't just let me through? Letting you through without a library card is against my programming. What? Even in an emergency? My programming is not flexible. I have not been t There it is again. Tamed. Tamed. What do you mean? Explain it to me. Okay, so we can't go any further. 
Alrighty. Time to head back. Anything here? Oh yeah, I think I read